Hello YouTube, Real Shooting here and in today's video I am out on my favorite pond again. I was here two weeks ago, had a very good day of fishing, ended up catching nine bass. Most of them were on beds. We're here two weeks later, there are not many bass on beds. I could see some that are real shallow, but they keep uh, getting spooked off real easily. And my original plan was to try and use my nest raider from the river to sea, that lure right there. But since there's not very many on beds and there is a ton of grass i was like wow well we got to change it up we can't do that anymore so i'm gonna attempt which i've been holding off on this video for a while the guggen squad mondo kit slam now i'm thinking maybe just maybe we can catch them on a frog because of how much grass there is real shallow i'm gonna try to fish along the bank there's so much grass it's crazy how fast this grass grew in just like a week or two however long it took here we have the grass hero swim jig i'm hoping this will swim very easily through the grass i might have to tie on that first because i have a lot of confidence in swim jigs now and they give you that saucy swimmer to match up with it 3.3 inch that color is green pumpkin pearl have a lot of confidence in that so i think we're gonna tie that on first now i already know if i tie this on we are gonna get snagged so fast i'm probably gonna hold off on this lure and then the zinger spinnerbait i have never caught one on a spinnerbait this color is chartreuse white i might have to tie on this one also but uh we're gonna get started with fishing because it's gonna be raining here in about a couple of hours right now it's 11 p.m there is a higher chance of rain around two or three so let's get started i'm gonna tie on some lures hope you guys enjoy the video there you guys can see we have the Grass Hero Swim Jig. This color is bluegill. Paired up with the little saucy swimmer they give us. 3.3 inch. I'm really thinking this is going to get a bass to bite. Let's see. I have a lot of confidence in this area. So we're going to swim that jig right here. Let's see. Come on bass. Now no. Come on bass. We gotta catch one. I'm not gonna get the skunk. No way. So far this year we've only had one skunk. And I know there's bass here. They have to be. They took it. No! Did we get him? Yes, we got him. <laughs> wow. He swam after it fast. I thought I didn't have him hook set, but I did. And now I'm just keeping tension on him. That 50 pound braid is no joke. We will horse him in if we have to. Yes, look at that. First catch of the day. Just when I was saying, we are not going to get the skunk. Oh. That bass saw it. He was hungry for a bluegill. Look at all this grass. That's why it's called the grass hero. Whole lot of grass. Whole lot of grass. Put some water on my hands real quick. The water looks very low. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Like I said, I had the most confidence in the swim jig. There we go. Barely hooked the top of the mouth nice little bass first catch of the day lots of confidence in a swim jig you guys i simply do have that confidence wow he was shaking he was ready to go you guys we got the frog tied on now so let's see if they'll go for this i think they will we see a bunch of blobs real shallow I haven't walked the frog in a while let's test that out first I'm 
just walk in the frog. No! No! <laughs> we missed our chance, you guys. That's where those bass were earlier. Look at all this tangle that happened. <sighs> Let me just practice out here. No! No, the bass went for it, you guys. I saw him go for it. So we know it works. That is crazy. That is crazy. And I was just testing out the lure. Man, these bass are shallow. There's some movement. There's some movement. No! Man, I don't know what's going on, you guys. Look at all this. No way! Come on, man! Oh man, I missed him. He took the frog! No, no, no! <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I keep missing them. This is bad. This is bad. Look at this. Bad. You guys, I am missing bass after bass after bass. I mean, this is pretty bad. Let's cast into this grass over here. There's bound to be some bass in there for sure. This is bad. We got him. No! Why? 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 I mean, I had that bass so good, man. He should have been pinned. <laughs> this is so upsetting, you guys. I swear, my drag is tight. I mean, I tightened, tightened it, and then I loosened it, thinking maybe it's too tight. I don't know. We could, we could have had like 10 bass by now, for sure. See that they are taking the lure and I'm not hooking them this is a so 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 bad all right you guys that's gonna be all for today's video as you can see it was I don't know what to say a tough day or a good day I'll say it's a good day we had bites and at least we didn't get the skunk we caught one fish on that grass hero swim jig I'm sure if I fished that some more I would have caught more fish because I missed over 10 strikes on the frog. And I was really counting on catching one on the frog. But I just couldn't hook into them. Uh, towards the end I did have one strike. The spinnerbait. So maybe I'll catch one eventually on that zinger. I do really like the saucy swimmer. That's a very nice paddle tail lure. There's the lure that caught us the fish today. That's the Grass Hero Swim Jig. 3 8 ounce. Yeah, it's on the bottom of the head. Very nice pattern. I really like swim jigs. And like I said, that frog, the frog's up there. 
We had so many strikes on it. What color is this? Bluegill pattern frog. So many strikes and we were missing them all. So I'm going to call it for this video. And then I'm going to start fishing some other lures. And start recording another video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.